Wow, 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 wow. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Adjust your volume accordingly. It's Monday morning, and it's another time for another version of the Monday morning sidewalk. This is the second one. You know, we probably won't make 52 in a row. It's just technically not feasible, but uh, we had a great 4th of July weekend, and we're going to look back on the weekend, last week's fishing, and forward to this week, and what's going on around here this week. Hope you had a great weekend. And of course, welcome back to wherever you are. It's Monday morning, July 7th. And this is the Monday morning sidewalk. You'll hear the trash trucks in the background perhaps. And that's just part of the ambiance of the fly bar. Um, what we've got going now is the weather patterns are starting to stabilize along with the weather patterns stabilizing. The fish are stabilizing too. Uh, I went out with my wonderful wife yesterday and we fished a cove on Ray Roberts and did quite well actually for sighting because the sky was finally clear and catching some very pretty and very sizable common carp yesterday. Um, if you rewind back to Friday, July 4th, I went out with Jack Book out and we went to uh, Lake Whitney and that's a lake that he'd heard something about and when we got there we obviously knew something was going on because that big bulge of water from uh, Granbury had worked its way down the Brazos River and into um, Lake Whitney and the lake was up probably I think I, I think I saw the gauge at four feet up in a matter of a few days so it's really been affected by that in a positive way um, it's a, it's gonna be an interesting week I'll be spending a little less time on the uh, <coughs> fly fishing, a little more time actually uh, working on the Airstream trailer. That's something that you guys haven't heard or seen a lot about probably, but it's uh, going to be kind of the home base for uh, guiding uh, this winter and into next year. And from here on out, actually, we'll be uh, on locations like, uh, well, Broken Bow, and we'll be in... Uh, probably Guadalupe River area and places like that just on a on occasion <clears throat> the video from Lake Whitney is a combination of a couple different cameras and one of the cameras is a GoPro and if you guys know GoPros you know that when you put them in that waterproof case sound goes away so I'm gonna have to take the time to produce that video and um, lay in some audio uh, if you guys I've been done still photography and done the videography, you know that um, videography consumes a lot more time. I've got a few friends that are interested in classes on GoPros and, and I'll be doing that in the future probably um, next month in August. <clears throat> I do um, probably will be fishing less this week but I've got a couple of gear reviews to do one is a Orvis Helios 2 fly rod I've got that in the 5 weight with a tip flex and we're going to get out and shoot the video and do the audio for that uh, fly rod review for the Orvis Helios 2 um, it's a beautiful rod I've already kind of messed with it um, it's a, got a real you know strong impression of what it's all about it's a 5 weight so it's kind of hard to really translate into what we do here um, real directly but it's a it's a interesting interesting fly rod there's also a review coming up of the sims vapor boots I've been threatening to do that for a long time and it looks like finally I'm gonna find the time to do that it's a sim the sims vapor is a really neat boot and one that I've had on for since it came out about six months so um, the boots been tried and true and it uh, is really performing well. I just want to show you the boot. I've got some still photos that I shot and tell you a little more about that boot and uh, whether or not I recommend it. So stay tuned for that. Should be out this week and maybe next week. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of time dedicated to uh, the Airstream trailer in the next, this week. And then um, maybe I can put some fishing in in between because things are really stabilizing. So when it stabilizes like this, I really want to uh, get out on the water more than I want to work on a trailer in 100 degree weather. We're probably going to be in the upper 90s, um, close to 100 now, and that makes things uh, much more interesting as far as taking care of yourself while you're on the water. Um, 
one of the things that happened to me and my friend Silas last week was we went fishing at night. Uh, he wanted to take me crappie fishing, you know, typical um, uh, conventional crappie fishing with lights and stuff. And we almost got caught in a storm. And one of the things I use is an app on here that, that actually, it, this is my tip for, the, for, for Monday. Make sure that you have a good weather app that you understand and uh, are able to use at the drop of a hat. Um, we were on the northern reaches of the Lake Ray Roberts and just by, you know, happenstance, I was looking at the, uh, this app that I have and I can't remember what this app is called. Let's see. It is. It's a, it's a paid app, but uh, this is my tip for you guys: is get you a good weather app. This is called Radar Cast. And Radar Cast is pretty much a radar uh, app without all the frills on it, and that's what you want. You want something that you don't have to look at ads or any of that stuff. If you have to pay two bucks or three bucks, please break down and pay the money for whatever app works for you for weather. And very, very quick uh, refreshing on that too. It really, it, it can save your life. It really can. And we, we uh, got hit by a storm after we got off the water that was with blinding rain and high winds. And if we'd have been in our little kayaks under the bridge, it would have been problematic to say the least. So that's just the tip for, the, for this week. And uh, I hope you stay tuned because that video from, from Lake Whitney is pretty fun. A little bit of polling on the uh, East Cape Skiff. It's uh, the Fury. And uh, just kind of see how those things work here in North Texas. I think it's very interesting. There's a lot of potential for uh, flat skiffs. I've been talking about it for a couple of years now and uh, we're getting closer and closer to that as well as having the Airstream ready to go on locations and have you guys come and visit. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.